Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can code in SAP ABAP in the ABAP editor more smartly with less number of clicks and less number of typing. Okay, so here I have defined a structure. If you notice, I have defined this whatever the types. Okay, now I'll define the internal table. So I will write type and this part will work standard so i'll put standard table now here if you want i can i'm not getting this prompt for this t output so i have to type in all this thing now if you want to have the prompt it's very easy it's just one click so if i go here i go into this proposition and i'll select suggest non keyword from the text and i click on save now the moment i do this now you see it's easy so it's proposing now now i'll just press enter and that's it now here in this also if you want to select suppose i want to select these three fields from a particular for two different tables but every time i want to select i have to write write all these fields individually like i have to copy like this right so i'm, I'm just showing suppose i want to do select okay a because i'll do a join and i'll select like this cvl and and write it like this okay if i want and then oops uh i didn't copy properly so i copy here and now i will again write a e b l p okay so i have to type all i have to write all these things now instead this can be time consuming so instead I want to only write these fields because I know these are the fields that I'm going to play with. So what I'll do is I will select Alt Shift. So I'll put the cursor here, Alt Shift, and I'll go like this, and I'll copy and I'll do Control C. Now, if you notice, it's much easier. I can just type in a a uh, tilde and get all these information. So if you notice. I can write this and in this way it would be much easier imagine we have 50 different fields that you have to copy you can just do like this so what I did again uh, simple is I did alt shift I put the cursor here and I moved like this I select this with the right arrow key and then I do page down or the down arrow key and I just then hit control C and that should do the trick in this way you can uh, save your coding uh, time and it can significantly reduce your coding time by a lot